Nationalist activists protest with Spanish and Catalan flags during a mass rally against Catalonia's declaration of independence, in Barcelona, Spain, Sunday, October 29, 2017. Thousands of opponents of independence for Catalonia held the rally on one of the city's main avenues after one of the country's most tumultuous days in decades. Santi Palacios Associated Press Barcelona, Spain, the latest on the Spain-Catalonia political crisis all times local 1140 a.m. The regional leader of one of Spain's main parties that wants to keep the country united has called on a massive turnout at a rally to protest the declaration of independence by Catalonia's parliament. Inessa Ramadas of the Citizens' Party says today the silent majority of Catalans are once again taking to the street to show that the majority of Catalans feel Catalan, Spanish and European. Ramadas urged those Catalans in favour of remaining in Spain to vote for Prunian parties in a regional election on December 21. The Spanish government used extraordinary powers given to it by the Senate to fire the regional government of Catalonia and dissolve its parliament after it voted in favour of secession on Friday. Iramada says we will go out to win the elections and give Catalans the chance to recover our future, underscore 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 11.30 a.m. Organizers say that a march calling for their unity of Spain in downtown Barcelona should claim the streets for all Catalans and not only for those in support of the region's independence. Alex Ramos, president for the Prunian Society Civil Catalana Grassroots Platform, says we have organized ourselves late but we are here to show that there is a majority of Catalans that are no longer silent and that no longer want to be silenced. Prunian forces have made a call for defeating separatists in an early regional election on December 21. The vote has been called by Spanish Prime Minister Mariano Rajoy after dismissing the Catalan government and dissolving the regional parliament where independence was proclaimed. Commenting on the regional separatist leader Carles Puigdemont's refusal to step down, the leader of the pro-business centre-right Ciudadanos Citizens Party Albert Rivera said separatists were living in a parallel reality. Rivera told reporters this is not the time to in a matrix type of reality. It's time to take over the streets and take over the ballot boxes, underscore 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 11.20 a.m. The ousted vice president of Catalonia's rebellious government has left open the possibility that secessionist parties will participate in a regional election called by Spain's central government. Oriol Junqueras wrote in an open letter published Sunday in Catalan newspaper El Puntevui that separatist forces must continue forward, without ever renouncing the ballot boxes. Junqueras, regional president Carles Puigdemont and the rest of their top government officials were fired by Spanish Prime Minister Mariano Rajoy on Saturday a day after Catalonia's parliament voted in favour of a declaration of independence for the northeastern region. Rajoy also announced that he was dissolving the Catalan parliament and called regional elections for December 21 in hopes that Prunian parties can take back the majority in the region's legislative chamber, underscore 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 10.30 a.m. Hundreds of people opposing Catalan independence have begun gathering in central Barcelona before what is expected to be a major demonstration in favor of Spain's unity. The protesters, waving Spanish flags, were to march later in the day through part of the city center. The demonstration comes two days after Catalonia's separatist lawmakers voted to secede from Spain. The move was met by the central government in Madrid triggering unprecedented constitutional powers to take control of the region's affairs. Organizers of Sunday's March say its goal is to defend Spain's unity and reject an unprecedented attack in the history of democracy. Their slogan will be We are all Catalonia. Common sense for coexistence members of the central government and main Prunian parties are expected to join. Three weeks ago, the same group organized a mass rally that brought hundreds of thousands onto Barcelona streets, underscore 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 1020 a.m. A Belgian government official says it would be not unrealistic for ousted Catalan leader Carles Puigdemont to ask for asylum and warns it would create serious diplomatic difficulties with fellow European Union member state Spain. Asylum State Secretary Theo Franken tweeted early Sunday that it is possible to ask for asylum as an EU subject in Belgium. Franken stressed that Belgium WASNT seeking such a scenario, saying him not rolling out the welcome mat. Franken added that if such a request would come in, we'd enter a difficult diplomatic situation with the Spanish authorities. 
That is evident. There has been no indication that Puigdemont has requested asylum after Spain took control of Catalonia's government and dismissed its leaders, including Puigdemont, after regional lawmakers voted to declare independence from Spain, underscore 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 835 a.m. Catalonia's main city Barcelona is bracing for a new day of protests over an independence declaration that led to the regional government's dismissal by Spain. Societat Civil Catalan has called for those who oppose Catalan independence to march at noon Sunday 1100 GMT 7 a.m. EDT. Organizers say the mark's goal is to defend Spain's unity and reject an unprecedented attack in the history of democracy. Their slogan will be We are all Catalonia. Common sense for coexistence members of the central government and main Prunian parties are expected to join. Three weeks ago, the same group organized a mass rally that brought hundreds of thousands onto Barcelona's streets. No pro-independence marches were expected Sunday. Catalonia's ousted leader has called for Catalans to engage in peaceful opposition. Copyright 2017 The Associated Press All rights reserved. This material may not be published, broadcast, rewritten or redistributed.